Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time we have got an MSI Z890 Ti Wi-Fi motherboard. High end. Well, actually the Ace or the Godlike are the like top tier, but this is certainly a, an expensive board. So let's get have a look what's inside the box, shall we? Okay then, so this is the MPG Z890 Edge Thai Wi-Fi motherboard from MSI. This is Intel and it supports the latest Ultra Series from Intel. So of course it's got an Intel chipset as well. It does have Intel Killer Wi-Fi as well as the 5 gigabit Ethernet port. So let's go through the overall motherboard, uh, the accessories and see what comes in the box, shall we? Right, so first of all you're greeted with this. This is the antenna. This is your Wi-Fi antenna. This will be for Wi-Fi, so make sure you obviously put that in as well. I wish personally that it was a basic one, those little ones you just screw in the back and they go in there. But yeah, motherboard, yeah, not looking at that yet. Not yet. Got to keep you uh, guessing tonight. Okay, so you get... Uh, you get SATA cables, you get straight and right angle SATA cables, you get two of those. Then you get this. This is for the motherboard. This is for... Right. What this essentially does is you plug this into a connector on your motherboard. And this, look, see, goes straight to ARGB, which is fantastic. So you get extra ARGB ports there with just one cable. And then obviously the connector then is on the side of the board. So there's that. Okay, like I said, you got SATA. Now this by here is for a front panel. This is actually, this is for front, uh, front panel connector. Put this in your front panel. Now of course you get shout out. I've done this, this is fantastic. European Union regulators. A quick installation, you get uh, RGB stickers, you get fan stickers, and then you got ones in for like the SATA ports, and then of course you get these nice little stickers. Oh, look at Lucky. And then of course, you get the M.2 screws by here. These are standoffs just to put on the motherboard. You get a USB stick by here. That's got all the utilities for the MSI Center and stuff like that. Then you get this. This is actually a little key to and do for the uh, shield in there's a um, th there's a thing on the motherboard that you put this in and it unlocks it and locks it so that's cool so let's get this all the way now and show you the board and here it is the motherboard look how gorgeous that is absolutely stunning i love the edge version of their motherboards because of the overall silver accent i think it looks amazing so when it comes to obviously your memory but here this does hold up to over 200 gigabytes of ddr5 and then of course then you've got the intel socket which i will show you just be careful because there are pins in this and you do not want to damage them so blah okay then you've got this this is for your gen 5 mvme slot this is for gen 5 only you pull press that in pull it and then done now the mechanism is very over engineered but to be honest it's got some weight to it like i said that's for your gen 5 then you got this spear then this is a cover as well and then you put that there so you've got gen 5 by here so that's one then you've got another one two three and four these are only for gen 4 though okay the gen 5 and the 16 pci slot by here are directly to the cpu where these are on the chipset so just so you know and of course then you've got another expansion but there which is that's only set up before that one's only set before so instead of it being a 16 pin pci it's not a set up for four instead so you've got basic uh 12 volt rgb then you've got argb but there you've got one two three four five six seven eight pwm ports uh, headers got two usb headers i wish motherboards would have more but still then you've got a extra six pin by here that's for just extra power towards the board because obviously if you got let's just say you got a 4090 or you've got like the ultra 9 version of the cpu then of course it's going to take a lot of power that's in case you need it then of course then you've got a led switch here you've got loads of fan headers like i said you've got loads of rgb 
Then of course then on the side you get four SATA ports, you get Type-C and that, but that, there's USB 3 and that is the Enzo Connect. Enzo Con Connect. That's the connector, that's that cable I showed you, that's where that connects up to. Then of course then you've got 24 pin, you've got a debug LED, that's fantastic, I like that, I wish motherboards would have all that. Then you've got two connectors there for the CPU power, and then of course we'll get to the VRMs. Now look how chunky that is, that is what you call chunky. These are massive, these are very big, and of course they are just absolutely humongous, but the best thing about this probably is... Can you see that? There's a heat pipe right there. It goes all the way around. So, then the back I.O. Now it's got a flash BIOS, clear, CMOS buttons, got HDMI. Now these are Thunderbolt. Then you've got one by here, then that is for charging. Then you've got four USB 5 gigabit. Then you've got by here, then one USB 2. You've got five gigabit Ethernet. Then you've got four USB 10 gig. Then there's a the Wi-Fi 7, then you've got Spinif out, you've got mic, and then you've got line out. So that will be for your audio. And that's pretty much it, to be honest. That's just a quick look at the motherboard. So I hope you enjoyed, because I've got something special coming. Voila, here it goes. Now look what I've got. I have got a Core, an Intel Core Ultra 7 265K CPU. And I will be using this in an upcoming build. So make sure you subscribe for that. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye. So, and look, you saw the unboxing. Now, yes, I have got a CPU with this. The uh, 2650K i7, or the Ultra 7 from Intel. I will be using it in a build. But what I really want to know is, do you guys think I should review that CPU? If you do, comment down below. Tell me if I should review it. Now, I've got... This isn't mine, to be completely blunt and fair with you guys. MSI have lent me this motherboard and the CPU for about three weeks just because I've got a PC build coming up as well in the new Be Quiet case and using their AIO. And I asked MSI if they had any parts around that I could use in a build. And seeing as I haven't touched an Intel motherboard or CPU since 2019 or 2018, it would be a bit of a change around here and actually have some Intel in as well. So, yeah. Make sure you subscribe for that because that build is going to be epic. I mean it. For Be Quiet build, Be Quiet power supply, case, everything. So make sure you subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, weekend ahead of you. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Richard from Welshie Tech. Goodbye.